I just bought these $20 cleats off of Timu.com and I'm going to test them out so you guys do not have to because they look like they're going to be crap. But you know what? We're going to try them before we knock it. Let's get to it. Okay, so what you get in the box is not actually a box. It just comes in a bag. And I mean, what do you expect for getting something for 20 bucks? All right, my first impression of these is they're actually pretty sick looking. They have like gold and then it kind of fades into a red on the bottom and the cleats actually look really nice like they're they look like they'll have a lot of traction but then we go to the upper and there's like this cool like rainbow design but what I have an issue with is they look so like fat and bulky up top they almost look like an American football cleat and I just really don't like that at all all right let's try them on all right so first impression they're not too bad but the first thing we're gonna do with them is do a little juggling. For juggling, they weren't too bad. I'd give them a six out of 10 in the juggling category just because they were a little bit stiffer than I like, but that's honestly personal preference, so it shouldn't matter too much. Now we're gonna see how good the touch is with these. All right, let's see how good these are. First touch was, eh, it was okay. It wasn't throwing that high. Second one, ooh, butter. Third one, eh, that pretty much hit the ground. Fourth, same. Fifth, maybe some hope. Ooh, let's go. Holy, I was actually surprised with how well these things did with the touch because those were all five right in a row. I know there's cuts, but they're five right in a row, I promise. I'd give it an eight out of 10 in the touch category. All right, let's see how good the traction is on these things. My expectations are set way down low, so let's try it out. These things are putting up good numbers. They actually grab super well, just because the studs, they're actually really long, which I like, which makes for just good grip. But this is really dry grass, so it might be a different story on wet grass. For the conditions I'm in, I'd give the grip a nine out of 10. All right, now we throw the shirt back on for the dribbling test. Let's get to it. All right, for our shooting portion of the video, we got our goalie here. I'm gonna take 10 shots on her and see how many we can make. You ready? Let's go. Oh. These things aren't too shabby right now. We need an instant replay on that last shot. Banger. Oh, that's gone. A little bit of swaz on this one. Oh. Ah. Upper left. Oh. What am I doing? Okay. All right, last one. Oh, geez, that sucks putting the last one over. All right, so out of all of them, it wasn't too bad. The shooting I'd give probably a seven out of 10, but nothing special, just same as any other cleat. In the end, I'd give these shoes a six out of 10 just because they felt really cheap on my feet. But if you're just gonna be playing soccer every once in a while, then I'd recommend these because they're just 20 bucks. But if you're gonna play soccer a little bit more often, I'd recommend saving up the money and getting something like this, these Copas, because they have really nice materials and they'll last you a lot longer than those cleats will. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.